Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, this is Slavik. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Alright my wonderful collective, I decided to do another reading and the topic of today's reading will be How does your karmic feel? And what future holds for them? Let's take a look. Your enemies. Your enemies, your karmics. Who are these individuals? What are they about? And any information in regards of your karmics. Of your enemies. They don't necessarily have to be karmics. Just your enemies. Ooh, karmics under karma. Judgment. Judgment. In the bottom of the deck, I have hermit. Hermit. So they're showing me an individual that looking, looking how to avoid karma, but they cannot. They cannot. I cannot necessarily see that uh, these individuals, they're more than one, okay? I'm not specifically going to say exactly who this individual is, a male, a female, a group of people. But what one thing I can tell you without doubt is by the hermit mode, they are going to take a long pass down, down the hill it goes. So the higher powers of the universe are monitoring the situation. This is without doubt. They are feeling lost. They, they will never find their way out. They will never find their way out. Okay. I feel like they're isolated from the higher powers. I also have eight of swords, restrictions, money restrictions. I also have some sort of masculine. I also have a court justice. I have a masculine potentially that was participated in some sort of fraud. So there is a judgment upon this individual. Masculine, maybe a fire sign so far. Um, now, why? Why did this individual did what they did to you? Because of money. Because of money. So relevantly, I feel like this masculine is losing finances. Losing finances is crashing down. <coughs> Excuse me. From the courts themselves, from the higher courts. So this is this is could mean an actual arrest. This is could be that meaning that this individual will actually be imprisoned for some sort of financial fraud. And of course, you will witness justice with your own eyes. You will witness. You will witness the justice and the fairness. So don't think that you won't. There's individuals that wait for justice for 20 years, for 30 years, a lifetime. And they never able to see it with their own eyes that justice actually will be served. This is not the case for you. This is not the case for you. For you. You're actually very fortunate. You're very fortunate. You never meant to go through this situation. So let's take a look more about this uh, fire sign, King of Wands. What else can you tell me about this individual? Mm, there's some other privilege of lady with him together. Some other female here as well. Privileged lady. Both of them. Both of them are going down. I have high honor. I have main female, I have bad health. This individual, this privileged lady could hold position to military. I also have some main male with her as well. So this is, could be a married couple. Okay, somebody, somebody part of the community. And of course, with high honor and main female. So this female potentially holds some sort of position of authority. And uh, in fact, her health are not doing that well. So not only these individuals are losing health, losing finances, but on top of that, they're looking very sick, very ill, and ill-minded for what they have done against you. I also have imprisonment. So they're, they're going to jail. That's exactly what it is. They're going to prison, to prison. 
if they wanted to make money on you, if they wanted to profit on you, they're going down. So let's take a look. What these enemies, these crooks, corrupt crooks that are currently facing judgment, not to full extent, this is just a beginning. It's already begun. I have full card. It's already begun. But I do not necessarily see that this has become to the full extent. Very, very soon. Okay, very soon. Maybe in the month of August. You will see these individuals imprisoned in jail for everything that they have done. This is an actually could be a, a couple. I have marriage. So like a husband and wife. This is, could be also a case. Whoever this couple is. Female by her nature feels very entitled, feels very privileged. And um, soon she's going to lose this privilege. Why did this enemies do to you what they did? What is the reason for causing you harm? Well, we have here fire sign female come up and fire sign male. The initiator of this whole entire sink was a female. That's exactly why she comes up as a main female. She may have issue with health, but this is also means that she looks not good in the eyes before the law. Maybe she has some mental problems. Maybe she has actual health problems. Okay. So what did this queen of wands wanted? What did this queen of wands wanted? There was some sort of partnership made with Six of Cups. It's more like a friend's. Two friends, like I said, they're either a family members or they're actually co-workers. Or they are family. Like a husband and wife by the marriage. So, by that aspect, I can tell that these two characters over here had some sort of partnership. Something they planned. It's supposed to be a very good offer. It appeared to be so as a very good offer. And then what? Okay, and then a lot of manipulation. A lot of manipulation. So I feel like she she was controlling this whole thing. I also have a lower card, another card of, of, of toxic third party relationship or, or partnership. Okay. Devil and three of cups and a lover. This is could be an individual that interfered. Uh, in your relationship, bluntly, unceremonially, callously, and decided to set up her own rules. Magician and the devil could also indicate on magic. Maybe this individual utilized magic and dark arts as well. Magician and the devil. Either that, or it could also indicate a sick relationship between these two individuals this is also could represent lying manipulation etc so i feel like they partnered up together to set you up to imprison you to cause you harm aspect here the key role played was finances it was about money okay something here is about money what is this devil card and magician and three of cups what kind of partnership are we talking about here? Financial? Or is that a partnership romantic? What kind of partnership here? Love partnership. Romantic. Romantic. I feel like this masculine was sleeping with her. Uh, like hooking up. There was intimacy. Two of cups and, and night of wands. It's a sex. One night stands, hook up, sex, intimacy. Okay. They were hooking up. They were sleeping with each other. And uh, at some point, this individual, she comes up as a fire sign, meaning she's all about action, right? She's action orientated. Uh, wanted to eliminate you, okay? So there's definitely something here was done on your love life, on your relationship. This queen of wands... Decided to manipulate, maybe even to utilize magic. Did, did this female utilize any sort of 
arts or, or just a straight up lies and manipulation. Page of Swords. It's kind of immature bullshit, like immature revenge. Highly immature. Just a page. Page is gossip. It's about slander. This is what Page of Swords is about. Gossip, slander, immature behavior. Just We have one page, one night of once, okay? So this female <clears throat> that potentially is married to this masculine, both of them are currently under judgment and they will be detained. Uh, this female without doubt will be detained. That There's no question about it. Maybe even psychiatrically uh, checked um, because this, this individual lost it. Okay. She wanted, she wanted, like I said, to do whatever she wanted at any cost. What else can you tell me about this female? We have future months and days and weeks. We have sexual desire, chemistry, lust, intrigue, obsession. Yeah, she was obsessed with some, you know what? Obsession was this masculine and she decided to punish you she decided to seek revenge against you she decided to pretend to be you there is a pretending of being divine feminine she most likely used your identity to entrap you to entrap you it was about obsession obsession was your life obsession to destroy your life and to punish you and to seek revenge. So I'm not surprised without doubt that potentially was pretending to be divine feminine. That is you. She pretended to be you. Because this is the only way <clears throat> she could have get rid of you. In her sick twisted mind, right? This was the only way. <clears throat> what else? What else about this female and this kinko ones? There was some sort of, like I said, sick attachment to masculine. Sick. Like not normal. Obsession. That's exactly who she is. She, she was obsessed with revenge against you. Because of this third party sexual desire. Mimicking another card. Explaining that she mimicked to be you. That she was fake. She was pretending. Mimicking. Dating, meeting someone new. Twin flame. Travel. Travel. And we have marriage and we have lies. So like I said, maybe you were dating... Maybe you were dating this masculine at one point. Maybe you were dating that twin flame. Maybe you were trying to go travel with this individual. Maybe you decided to marry this person. Or there was a conversation about marriage. And once again, the snake come in with a bunch of lies. And influence her friends or friends of the masculine. To spread a bunch of rumors and lies about you. Because in her delusional mind, the only thing she would be able to do it is to utilize this twin flame, I'm assuming, fire sign that is in big shit right now. Sitting by the hermit, not, not knowing what the fuck is going on. She influenced his friend. And something was done through text message. Unsend messages, text messages. Um... It's rumors. It's lies and it's rumors. Okay? It was a lot of lies and a lot of rumors that she spread about you. Using, once again, masculine friends. Or maybe they were friends. Maybe they have joined friends together. Okay, so this is, once again, sick obsession to punish you. To seek revenge against you. Obsession. Now, they still show me marriage, so they could be married. They could be together right now. 
Okay, I will double check. The one thing for sure that they were sleeping with each other. Seems to me by three of cups and the devil card and two of cups. It also represents third party. Third party obsessive sexual intimacy. And you were simply on the way. So she wanted to push you aside and get rid of you, okay? Which matter of fact, I mentioned that before that JL is crying for this individual. They all, they all were in it. So they are currently in a bad house. They look pretty messed up. They're losing everything. I will take a look exactly in these two. We already know that they wanted money. That it was based for money. It was about revenge. We see that. We know that these two are under karma at the moment. They will be judged for fraud, for paying out money to cause you harm. Or maybe it was a revenge because of money. Or maybe it was a deal uh, to once again pull some sort of corrupt agreements or conduct and participate in some prohibited illegal business. Something to do with a big opportunity for financial growth and this sick, obsessed desire from this female to punish you. And without doubt, she used your identity. She used your identity. <clears throat> what connects these two? Queen of Wands and King of Wands. We have Queen of Wands, female here come up herself. Okay, that was all her orchestrating. We have three of cups. Party, celebration, third party. Third party. She was the third party. She was having intimate relationship with this masculine. Serious, not serious, secret, open, doesn't matter. But she had intimate relationship was this masculine. We have nine of swords. This is how she feels now. And we have six of pentacles. See? Two reds. She's scared. Because I have judgment as well here. And we have ten of wands. She's afraid. She's afraid because I feel like you trusted these reds. You trusted this masculine. Is the masculine at fault for what happened to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now this queen of wands, for sure, without doubt, is freaking out. She cannot sleep at night. She have anxiety. She have stress. She may have nightmares. Why? Judgment. Judgment upon these rats. At one point, law believed these lunatics protected these idiots never in a million years would have thought that such a individual of so-called privileged woman she doesn't look like she's a nutcase she looks as a perfectly normal person but nobody truly knew at that time what goes through her sick twisted mind and yes the law made a mistake the law made a mistake and benefited these rats. In fact, infested with these mice. Infested. All based on gossip and revenge and jealousy. So yeah, karma. Karma here without doubt. One card just fell off my hands. I also have here the... Hierophant. She's like possessed. Possessed. That's how she feels. And again, Ten of Wands comes up. Not looking good. Not looking good. What did this uh, King of Wands want it on the for, for Seven of Swords comes up. I just wanted to mention that. See? Seven of Swords comes up as well because of manipulation, because of what she did. What she did truly possessed 
money. Again, money comes up. Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. She wanted money. She wanted stability. And now the judgment says no. No, because you made money a legal way. You were not entitled to this benefit. You're a crook. You are a privileged crook. For now. Because soon you'll be in jail. Money. Money. It was about money. It was about corruption. Or a lot of money have been paid. To inflict suffering upon you. That's exactly what happened here. Exactly what happened. Okay. I also see here by the world card that she have access and keys to some sort of elite organization because she did come up as privileged that soon she's going to be booted, whether she wanted or not. This is, she's praying right now, okay, that she, she will not be cut off of this elite privilege community because there's a lot of people behind, okay? A lot of people are in the background that are involved, like it looks like a family, a whole family, a lot of people. So I feel like she's praying right now. She she's she's in mud, right? Halfway in mud, buried. She may be brunette, or she may have brown hair, cherry brown hair, or brunette. So she's praying right now for God to spare her. So she, she would not be cast out, that she doesn't go to prison. But the thing is, it, what she have done, it's done. It's done. It's a corruption. You do not seek revenge and cause harm to an innocent person because you felt entitled to seek revenge against an innocent person. Who are you? Who are you to seek revenge? Who are you to falsify evidence, steal identity, pay out, bribe people? Who the fuck are you to do this to innocent people? You are a sick nutcase. And without doubt, judgment will be served. And so is jail. And on top of that, a lot of more problems. So this is once again an example that your karmics are going through judgment. Going through judgment. Females definitely, mentally is not all there already. Already losing it. For everything she did. It was some sort of investment, some new projects, some money, some contracts. Okay. Fighting right now, trying to win, trying to defend themselves for what was done. But there is no defense. There is no defense. If judgment comes up twice, straight in a row, it only means one thing. That karma's on its way. That judgment's already on its way. Night of once, the runner. We call knights runners, runner of truth and victory for you, your victory. And you're going to make sure that this sociopathic lunatic over here and this karmic ex who was running around, sleeping with everybody, whatever the case may be, not our problem, is going to be put in the place where they truly belong and justice will be served to a high priestess, to an individual, individual who is strong enough, intuitive enough to deliver that truth. And I feel like you truly are. She wanted to win over you, but this is all never happened. I have two of cups for you. I have chariot for you. I have partnership, I have union, I have you obtaining your status. What this sicko wanted to take away from you, 
and made you sound like you some sort of miserable, poor, useless, unworthy of a simple human respect person. Because in a matter of time, and that is time already on its way, will show this sociopathic family, community, married couple, who you truly are. And these individuals are going to be in a position of five of pentacles. So just be patient. And on top of that, ten of swords. Exactly what they deserve. And for you, I have a new person, new partner. New partner. So often makes me makes me wonder, is this revenge worth it? Is it? Was it worth it? Intentionally punishing an innocent person after every single shit you did and every single corruption you were participating in worth it? Maybe you'll have enough time in jail to think about it. Maybe that's what you need. Or in some other organization. I have access to granted social media. She's hiding in fake profiles. She may have access to your social media. She has been doing this for a very long time. We have love affairs, dirty little secret. Wish nobody would find out about it. We have names, cars, silence, no action, love, entrapment. Try to entrap you using your social media accounts. Same thing, using your identity, pretending to be you. You understand? Pretending to be you. Sicko. So this is all will be exposed. Everything. The love affairs, the sex, the hookup, every single thing will be exposed. And have this drama queen try to entrap you out of the madness of her own mind for a very long time. A very long time. And yeah, they're, and they're under deadline. They may be drinking right now, gambling, because losing it, right? They're losing it. They're, they're, they're losing it. Honestly, community will look at the seeing them as they're possessed. I guarantee you that something's not right. That's a very sick community that did this to you. And I promise you that the justice and judgment will be served. Will be served. Using your identity potentially to have some affairs or whatever the case may be. It's easier to potentially mention what this crazy individual have not done against you than for me to mention what was done. Because you truly deal with a, with a sociopathic community, okay? A woman in particular here. The money hungry, the crook that had intimate relationship with this kinko once and was potentially obsessed with him. Because I'm sure he screws anything, anything and anyone. That's without doubt. <clears throat> Okay, so after this judgment is being served, which it is already, what should you expect next? What should you expect next? What should you expect? Judgment for a certain time. But this is a different in this in this way, judgment, you see individuals are celebrating. You you almost look like you're uplifted. Uplifted above. And there is a group of people cheering you. And you have a trumpet. You see? It stands for victory. Your victory. 
This is the judgment upon this miserable, money-hungry, immoral, sick drunks who absolutely have no conscience at all, not a single bit of it. And this is your victory. This is your victory. And on top of that, we have a lion, which is, represents strength. And we have a king of pentacles. We've seen him before. Another masculine with you. And I have you. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Lovely, beautiful you. Lovely, beautiful you and so much jealousy and pity upon your karmics. Oh, how mad this privileged, crazy nutcase will be to see you rise. So nothing they can do. They lied. They caused us problems. They caused harm. They caused you pain and suffering. Eight of Swords. I also have King of Wands. And I have Ace of Pentacles. Was money worth it? Was money worth it? Corruption. Money. Really? Revenge. Jealousy. Well, maybe that ex of yours can now play some trumpet for a living. Downtown somewhere. Right? Because this community, these sociopaths, are going to have to give you back everything that they unlawfully uh, obtained. Whatever they stole, every single thing, every single thing for you, it's victory, it's new relationship, it's new partnership, it's nine of cups, it's fulfillment. Like in my previous reading, I said, Davi, Davi, Lavi. Right? Well, you deserve to be Davi, Davi, Lavi. Why shouldn't you? Absolutely. And we have the world card. Traveling, being happy, enjoying life. You are not going to walk this world alone. You're going to be with your partner. And together, you can carry the whole, the whole entire world. So why would a sociopathic, money-hungry liars, crooks, who commits perjury, who falsify evidence, who try to entrap you, why should you fear them? Let God handle it. And I can assure you, God doing it, just incredible job. All right, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another. And I will see you next time. Bye.